Hi, my name is Joel. I'm one of the co-founders at Spark Visit, and today we're going to watch uh, how Spark Visit web application will benefit you, what you can do with it as a small business owner or entrepreneur, and what to do in the beginning. And it will this will take only like four minutes, but what I have learned from YouTube that uh, you people are not looking this to the very end. So at this time, I would challenge you to focus for four minutes, and then you can test it out and see would this be helpful for you. And um, we have the best reviews, 4.8 out of 5. So we are the best one in the markets today. We have the best AI. And with this video, you will see why our users are so in love with the product. So stay with me, please, for this time. So first, we're going to look at the front view. You see your expenses here, all the receipts and invoices that you have added here, and income part, so all the income reports that you have added. Bank statements, please do add those as well after you have added your uh, expenses and incomes. And then other documents, I don't have any on the, on the demo uh, account now. And also the summary. So here you can see uh, your company total expenses and total income. And this is very useful for you, so you know where your business is going. So this is the front view of uh, Spark. And before uh, adding any materials to Spark Visit, please do che check your settings. So account users, modify those. You can check the integrations, uh, modify your income and expense categories, add payment methods. That's important as well, so that uh, Spark Visit identifies the receipts based on the payment methods that you have added and tax rates. And you can also find your personal Spark Visit email address here. So when you have email receipts or invoices, please do forward those to that email address that there is in the web application. And you can find this from the mobile application as well. <clears throat> and one more point is the linked accounts. So if you have any other companies or maybe a side hustle or you have a uh, flat that you are renting, please do add those here as a own environments. And there's no additional fee from adding those as uh, linked accounts. So try that out as well. And I don't know why I'm even showing this since it's that simple, but you can add new expense there and um, just upload it here and Spark Receipt AI kind of categorizes everything automatically. It takes the value, it takes the tax amount, everything from the receipt automatically. So you don't need to type in everything. So that's that simple. And once you have added some materials and expenses, you want to add your bank statement here. So as with receipts as well, uh, you just uh, upload your bank statement here. And then what you want to do is you want to extract the transactions. And that is super fast as well. So Spark Receipt will extract your transactions from the bank statement. And then it automatically matches uh, receipts, invoices, documents to your bank statement if there is any of those already added. So please do add your uh, receipts first and uh, documents first and then upload your bank statement so you see all your receipts and invoices matched automatically against the payment uh, bank statement as me i was lazy today i didn't add any receipts for this bank statement so these cannot be found found here and lastly on uh, reports you can create reports based on uh, any document type or you can create with any type of document. So uploading, uh, downloading all the materials from Spark Receipt. Then you can add based on subcategory tag and based on who has submitted the receipts or documents. And you can create a CSV file, Excel uh, or PDF file. And please do try that out. If Excel can be beautiful, this one is. And <laughs> yeah, it's it's good. And lastly, if you have QuickBooks, uh, please do try that out. It's a newest uh, update to Spark Receipt. So you can add your QuickBooks there and integration with that. All the materials flow from Spark Receipt to QuickBooks. And there is also some categories coming from Quick, QuickBooks automatically to Spark Receipt. So please do try that out as well. So we are up to now five minutes and I would say thank you for now if you stayed to the very end. Hope you find this useful, try it out and reach out to us if you need any help. Thanks. Bye.